So this is the second part of the uh, saccharot pump. So to choose the rod string, so depend on the uh, the, the rod string or okay, the rod string depend on the condition uh, of a well. So usually, uh, if it's deeper than 2,500 feet, you have a different diameter. The larger diameter one is in the top and then become lower and lower. So the rod, uh, you have, you have uh, two, two or three types or four types of rod string. So, so the, 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 the smaller one is in the bottom and the larger one in the top. And then the big polish rod, of, uh, just bear with me, uh, I, I, we, uh, we have a theory and an uh, example. Uh, polish rod is, uh, the maximum strap is uh, maximum polish rod divided by the, the uh, area of the topmost uh, rod, which is the largest one. Okay, and then uh, <coughs> the, the minimum also is the uh, MPRL, is uh, the, the, the divided by the area of the topmost rod. So, <coughs> a, a correlation between uh, minimum and ma ma min maximum and minimum stress is in this equation. Um, and then there is a, a surface factor here. The surface factor is depend on the uh, type of the uh, 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 of the rod. So API grade C with uh, um, 90,000 psi, API grade D with 100, 1, 115,000 psi tensile strength. So the T is depend on this one, and the surface factor of this uh, two type of this uh, <coughs> uh, API grade if it's in the non-corrosive area uh, the surface factor is one is in the uh, salt water is uh, become lesser for both and then for H2F which is most corrosive is become much lower again uh, <coughs> and then maximum stress uh, between, uh, between minimum and maximum of course and it, it is, uh, uh, has to be lower than uh, uh, maximum allowable stress of the steel itself which is around 3000 and 40,000 okay so this stress here is the stress that uh, occur during the operation of the uh, uh, rod saccharot the saccharot but this one this uh, allowable is depending on the steel uh, that we use on, on, on the equipment. So, <coughs> if we, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, rearrange the equation of the previous equation, we have a PPRL equal to this long equation. Okay, subsurface farm. Uh, there are two, uh, uh, there are uh, four types, uh, there are four things in this bottom hole. It's a working barrel, the plunger, intake, standing valve, or exhaust, traveling valve. So, uh, uh, we'll talk about it later. And then uh, there are three types of uh, uh, pump, tubing pump, insert rod pump, and casting pump. Uh, so, the tubing pump, the pump, is uh, connected to the tubing it's okay and, and then uh, for insert pump uh, the pump is inside the tubing okay and then uh, for the casing pump uh, the pump is uh, 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 inserted to, to, to the casing so instead of in, uh, the insert pump is inserted to uh, tubing casing pump inserted in the casing Okay, and then <coughs> uh, this is uh, how it works. So uh, uh, I have video for you to see uh, uh, from the public video that uh, would like you to see. And this one is uh, if it moves down the traveling valve. So this is the whole thing here is called the barrel. Okay, 
uh, Pambero. And then uh, this is the traveling valve, and this is the standing valve. This is standing valve, standing valve. And then another one is uh, plunger. Plunger is this one. This, this thing, this thing, this thing is plunger. Okay, so if it uh, moving down, the traveling valve will open. So the liquid is coming into the, into the tubing, and then when it moves up, the, uh, the traveling valve will close, and uh, uh, the liquid going inside the barrel. Okay, when it moves up, so the liquid will go up to the surface, and then after in the top of the uh, uh, plunge, uh, uh, barrel, the plunger out of the uh, barrel, and then. Uh, it close again before moving down, moving down, close, uh, it is open and then uh, moving up, close, it is open and then moving down again, this one is close and then the above the traffic valve will fill with, uh, with uh, uh, liquid and then goes back to here again, that's the way it works. So <coughs> this is the pump displacement. So the barrel per day, barrel per day is equal to this equation, which is this is the area of the plunger. This is the stroke, which is stroke per inch. One stroke is dependent on the length of the stroke length, and this is stroke length. And n is the pump speed, how many stroke per minute? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a feet cube. This is per minute and 0.1484 is from barrel per day to inch cube per minute so it becomes uh, 0.1484 so that's the uh, conversion the, uh, the, the simple conversion if you put a k for uh, 0.1484 ap so become this equation and since the LP stroke is not fully 100% is lifted to the surface, so we have a 80% uh, effective of plunger stroke. Okay. <coughs> okay. So 80%. Uh, so the equation become this equation here. Uh, this is again pump cycle. I mentioned to you. Uh, this is uh, okay. Uh, Another one is need, need a person need uh, uh, consider that the, the acceleration, the maximum acceleration occur occur when uh, 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 moving to, uh, close to the very bottom. So uh, it, 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 it's called lambda one. So this is the equation with a plus minus here plus if the uh, pump is a conventional pump minus if it is Mark to unit pump. So CP is crank over pitman ratio. So this is uh, uh, something to do with the uh, uh, surface surface equipment connected to this uh, uh, stroke and uh, a number of uh, 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 stroke per minute. The stroke length is S, a stroke length, and then N is the stroke per minute. And <coughs> uh, so we see the, 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 what you call it, the uh, load on the polish rod. So this is the, the, the polish rod road, okay, uh, which is a uh, please read all, all, all everything in here because uh, if I read one by one, you can see it here. So, because I will also repeat it in this uh, theory uh, and example. And then, if we consider everything from the everything, we end up with I think two uh, type of uh, equation. We we'll talk about it later. So. <coughs> uh, Okay, the first equation is uh, so P3 actually PWF. So this is considering the one that uh, inside the uh, from the bottom. So the first equation is this uh, P3A plus PV 
which is A is this long equation, B is this long equation. And then the second one, uh, okay, this is P, P, uh, P, 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 and the second one is, um, what is it? There is a C on it. Okay. The second was P3 equal A plus C over V square. What is C? C actually this long equation. So there are two types of equation. We talk about it later. Okay. Just read this one. I want, I want you guys to read this one. And uh, next time we talk about this uh, 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 this thing here. Yeah.